Everyone keeps calling Spot the king of robot dogs. But what if I told you that a new bot just showed up that runs faster, carries more, and can literally take a punch from a grown man? Most people don't even know it exists, and that's the mistake. Because while the internet drools over Boston Dynamics, Unitree has been quietly building something smarter, stronger, and way cheaper. Unitree A2 might be the most underrated robot in 2025, and it could flip the entire robotics industry on its head. The Unitree A2 Stellar Explorer weighs in at about 37 kilograms, 81.5 pounds, making it a mid-sized quadruped with serious muscle. Compared to the older A1, just 12 kilograms, it's bulkier but way more powerful. With two hot swappable 9,000 milliamp hour batteries, the A2 can run up to five hours unloaded and still manage three hours while carrying a full 25 kilogram payload, nearly triple the runtime of Boston Dynamics Spot, which maxes out at 90 minutes. And thanks to its hot swap battery setup, you get practically unlimited runtime during missions. When it comes to speed, the A2 doesn't mess around. It hits five meters per second, 11.2 miles per hour, flat out, nearly three times faster than Spot. Even on its legs alone, it clocks around 8.3 miles per hour, and with optional roller skate style wheels, it zooms past 11. The A2 can navigate 45 degree slopes, hop 30 centimeter steps, and even smash through glass in its promo videos. Its 12 high torque motors keep it agile, letting it somersault down stairs and recover instantly. The A2's payload capability is another standout. While Spot tops out at around 14 kilograms, the A2 can carry 25 kilograms while moving and support up to 100 kilograms while stationary. Yes, someone literally stood on it and jumped, and the bot didn't flinch. It's built from aerospace-grade aluminum and high-strength plastics, balancing toughness and mobility. Sensors? Oh yeah. The A2 is equipped with dual-sided LiDAR, a depth camera, and LED headlights, creating 360-degree vision with no blind spots. It's built to navigate rugged outdoor environments, dark tunnels, and complex industrial sites autonomously. Rated IP56 for water and dust resistance, with core parts sealed to IP67, the A2 handles rain and rough terrain like a champ. And it's not just brawn, this thing has moves. The A2 dances, hops on two legs, spins on one, and generally shows off its robot parkour skills. Optional wheels let it transition from walking to gliding mid-mission. Compared to the older A1, it's a massive leap. Four times the payload, two times the battery life, added LiDAR, and a big jump in speed and agility. Before we move on to the next section, don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed the video so far. So, why is the Unitree A2 such a big deal? One word, capability. This robot dog stretches the limits of what a quadruped robot can do, all while staying relatively affordable. Unitree has always aimed to democratize robotics. Their Go1 and Go2 robot dogs go for just a few thousand dollars, undercutting big names like Boston Dynamics. The A2 is their industrial-grade machine, but it still follows that value-first mindset. While the exact price isn't public yet, as of mid-2025, most experts expect it to land around $75,000 to $80,000, roughly on par with Boston Dynamics Spot, but far cheaper than the six-figure military bots some rivals produce. And unlike certain military-use robots, the A2 is civilian-friendly and publicly available. Yep, you can actually buy one if your wallet is ready. Unitree markets the A2 for commercial and research applications, but if a deep-pocketed hobbyist wants one, go for it. Just don't strap a weapon to it. They literally warn buyers not to do that. We've all seen that video. But let's talk about what makes the A2 worth it. This thing isn't just for show. It's built to carry real payloads, climb tough terrain, inspect power plants, or help in search and rescue. It's agile, strong, and smart, equipped with sensors that let it semi-autonomously navigate chaotic environments. And yeah, 
the flashy stunts are real. This bot can carry 30 kilograms for over three hours, then turn around and dance or flip like it's auditioning for a sci-fi movie. One reviewer even said if Hollywood needed a robot star, the A2 would land the role. Oh, and it talks, sort of. It has onboard speakers and a mic array, meaning it can respond to voice commands or play music while hauling your gear. Imagine that. Your robot dog grooving to tunes while hiking with you. It's equal parts tool and showman, and it proves just how far robot dogs have come. And it's not the only advanced robotic dog on the market. Seeing the pent-up demand, other companies have introduced their new and advanced robotic dogs. When it comes to robot dogs, Boston Dynamics Spot is the OG. Released in 2019, this yellow quadruped quickly became the industry standard for agility and versatility. At 25 to 30 kilograms, Spot moves with animal-like precision, climbing stairs, navigating tricky terrain, and carrying out inspection tasks. Its 14 kilogram payload capacity is solid for tools and sensors, but now rival bots like Unitree's A2 carry nearly double. Spot also gets about 90 minutes of active battery life, while the A2 can run three to five hours depending on the load. Spot handles 30 degree inclines and 20 centimeter obstacles, but again, newer robots like the A2 beat it with 45 degree climbs and 30 centimeter step height. Still, where Spot truly shines is in its refinement. After years of real world testing, it's become a reliable workhorse used in power plants, oil rigs, police departments, and more. It's controlled via tablet and supports plug-and-play payloads like 360-degree cameras, LiDAR, or even a robotic arm. That sophistication comes at a price. Spot costs $74,500 out of the box. With extras like the arm or advanced sensors, it easily creeps near $100,000. And Boston Dynamics has been very clear. They won't sell to anyone trying to weaponize it. They've positioned Spot as a helpful, friendly tool, not a war dog. Despite the competition, Spot remains a top-tier option thanks to its stability, polish, and reliability. It even has a self-charging dock in the Spot Enterprise Edition for 24-7 operation. And since we talked about competition, on the military end of the robot dog spectrum is the Ghost Robotics Vision 60, a 51 kilogram, 112 pound beast built for tactical missions in the harshest conditions. This robotic dog was designed in the US with defense and security as its primary goals. It also excels in reconnaissance, patrols, and gear hauling. Its runtime is around three hours, covering around 12 kilometers, but it sacrifices payload 10 kilograms max in favor of rugged durability. Where Vision 60 shines is battlefield awareness. It features 360-degree cameras, optional thermal imaging, LiDAR, and a modular platform that supports comms gear, sensors, and even arms. It's weatherproof, submersible in shallow water, and NDAA compliant, with field-replaceable limbs and batteries. Ghost Robotics drew headlines in 2021 by demoing one with a sniper rifle, a stark contrast to Boston Dynamics' no weapons policy. Note, Germany, which recently bought some, uses unarmed versions. In 2025, the US Air Force and German military are actively testing them for base patrols, mine detection, and more. Each unit costs around 150,000 euros, about $160,000, making it significantly pricier than Spot or the A2. But you're paying for military-grade resilience. Simply put, the Vision 60 is the 4x4 off-roader of robot dogs. Not as fast or strong as the A2, but in a combat zone, it's the one you want. And of course, we can't forget to mention the Meet Animal, the industrial robo-dog from Switzerland's Anibotics, designed for one thing autonomous inspection in hazardous environments. Unlike general purpose bots like Spot or Vision 60, Animal comes in specialized variants. Its flagship, Animal X, is the world's first explosion-proof quadruped, 
capable of operating in flammable environments like oil rigs, refineries, and mines, places humans can't safely go. Weighing 30 to 50 kilograms, it carries up to 10 kilograms of sensors or tools. While it's slower, one meter per second than most competitors, it's built for survivability, not speed. It's rated IP67 waterproof, and in one case, even rebooted after days submerged in flood water. That's resilience. Animal packs serious sensory tech, 360-degree LiDAR, HD, and thermal cameras, and even mics for leak detection. It climbs stairs, navigates narrow corridors, and uses AI to read gauges and detect anomalies. Tested by companies like Petronas, it's ideal for 24-7 industrial monitoring. In 2025, Anibotics added a manipulator arm, letting Animal not just observe, but interact, turning valves, pressing buttons, fixing issues on the fly. Priced similarly to military bots at around $150,000, its value is in reducing downtime and risk. So if money were no object, the real question becomes, if you could own any of these three robots, which would it be and why? Let us know in the comments below. Here's another video AI enthusiasts loved watching. This is AI Exposed, demystifying the world of artificial intelligence, one video at a time. 